What is Disable Concurrent Builds in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.387.2. I've also predefined a pipeline job on this controller. Let's go and take a look at that job. If we go over to configure and take a look at the job, this is just a very basic job. We're going to select an agent, which I already have an agent connected to this controller, and then we're going to sleep for 10 seconds while the job is running. So let's take a look and see what happens when we run this job. Now, what I'm going to do is not just run this job once, but I'm going to click on build now three times. Now I have, in this case, we'll take a look at this real quick, I actually have three executor slots open on this agent. So in theory, based on the defaults, I can run all three jobs at the same time. Let's see how that works. So we'll go to disable concurrent builds. I'll click on build one, two, three. If we take a look, we can see that all three of these jobs are currently running. Now, since they sleep for about 10 seconds, it shall take about 10 seconds to complete. If we go back into the job now, we can see that all three jobs completed all roughly at about the same time. So all three jobs were running at the exact same time, at least from when I clicked on build now three times. But let's say for a moment, I don't want this job to be able to run concurrently. I want to be able to disable the ability for this job to run concurrently. So how do I do that? Well, let's go into pipeline syntax and take a look at declarative directive generator. We'll go to options and then under add, let's select disable concurrent builds. There's really no extra help for this. It's just don't allow concurrent builds. Now, again, concurrent is within a single job. So if I check this box, we do have an option here. Do I want to abort previous builds? So if we take a look at the help on that, by default, disabling concurrent builds means that the new builds will queue up and wait for any running build to complete. If we turn the abort option on, then scheduling a new build will abort any running job and start up a new job. Now, in my case, I just want to have only one and I want any others just to queue up. I don't want the abort process to happen. So I'm going to click on generate declarative directive and let's copy the options block that has disabled concurrent builds. So we'll copy this. Let's go back over into our job and click on configure. Go down to our pipeline job and right after agent, let's go ahead and paste in options and let's clean this up a little bit. And now we have our options block with disable concurrent builds. Now let's click on save. Now, just because I've saved that job does not mean that that option has taken effect. And in fact, if we go back in and take a look at our configure, notice there's a section here for do not allow concurrent builds. What we need to do is we need to run this job once in order for this setting to be checked off. So let's click on save one more time and let's run the job just once. So we'll click on build now and then we wait for 10 seconds. Now that the job completed, let's go back into configure. Now we can see that we have our do not allow concurrent builds box checked. That's because the Jenkins file was processed. It saw the new option there that wasn't there before. It checked this box and noticed that the abort previous builds is also unchecked, which is what the setting is that we decided to have. So let's go ahead and click on save. So this time, let's go ahead and just click it twice and see what happens. We'll click on build now and build again. We can see that number nine is currently running. If we go back up to the top level dashboard, we can see that we have a build queue set up. Build nine is already in progress. It's waiting for that one to finish up. Once that completes, what will happen is the job that's in the build queue will now be scheduled. That's build number 10. If we go back into disable concurrent builds, we'll see that build number 10 is running and it's completed. So what we've done at this point is by turning on disable concurrent builds, this job can only be running one at a time. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.